Today, we're reviewing some HEPA activated charcoal air filters for your Tesla Model 3 and your Model Y. Today, we're gonna replace the ones in my Model 3, but first, let's talk about these filters and why they're so important. The filters we're gonna be looking at today were sent to me by a company called Vion. And to get started, let's talk about what HEPA even is. So the filters we're looking at today by Vion use a four layer filtering element with a PM 2.5 filtering 98.4%. So what this refers to is the filtration system's ability to remove particulate matter, which is PM, with a size of 2.5 micrometers or smaller. Now particles of this size are considered hazardous to your health because they can be inhaled deep into your lungs and can enter into your bloodstream. Some examples of these are dust, pollen, pet dander, mold spurs, as well as some other bacteria and viruses. So of all these particles, 2.5 or smaller, what these filters are saying is that they're capable of removing 98.4% of those. But these filters can do even more like removing odors or harmful gases. It basically provides a more fresh smell to your car. Now Tesla recommends replacing these every two years as a standard practice. However, there's been a lot of reasons for replacing them a lot sooner than that. For example, in the last couple of years, we've had a lot of different wildfires here in the United States. And if you live in an area where you've been around some of that, or even within 50, 100 miles of that, you may have had smoke all over your area for two, three weeks, even months at a time. And while your car does a great job of catching all that with its filtration system, you want to replace those filters a lot sooner. Now, Teslas have this option called the bioweapon defense mode. Now, when this mode is activated, it significantly increases the filtration rate and creates positive pressure inside the cabin, effectively protecting occupants from harmful airborne particles, pollution, and potential biological threats. All the more reason to make sure you're replacing these when you're supposed to. So these are a really great feature of being inside of a Tesla, having the ability to have this grid of filtration system inside of your car. And you want to make sure you keep up on them. But how do you replace them and where are they located at? Now, three years ago, I made a video how to actually go through in detail and replace one of these filters. So I'm not going to get into too much of the actual detail today, but here are the basic steps on how to replace them. Everything is done in the passenger foot area. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to pop off the side of the console panel on the passenger side. Next, you remove the panel under the glove box. Now the filters are held underneath this cover right here and to remove it, you just need to remove this one Torx 20 screw. From here, you're just gonna remove both filters that are stacked on top of each other and put in the new ones. Just make sure to follow the instructions on the filter for the direction of the airflow. After that, put all the panels back and you're good to go for another two years. All right, so check this out. I just pulled these out of my car just now and these have been about two years since I've replaced them. You can see just how much is actually in here. Like, look at this. It even came all down through my car here, right from there. Look at that. How disgusting is that? So if you're wondering just how important this is to change them, it's important. Now, if it's time for you to replace yours or you just wanna get some in stock for when it is time, I'll leave my code down below as well as a link to these down below in the description. Make sure to use my code CFTesla for 10% off. Now, if you like watching tips videos and learning more and more about your Tesla, be sure to check out a video I just released on all the things you need to know, a full guide on the Tesla navigation system. That's gonna wrap up this video. See you guys on the next one.